Hi, it's Danielle from the blog warmwithtime.com where I help you design a home full of vintage charm and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing about the difference between chalk paint versus milk paint and also sharing why I prefer to use milk paint for all of my vintage pieces. So in today's video, I'll be sharing about the pros and the cons of both chalk paint versus milk paint to help you make a better decision about what type of paint is right for you and your next project. So there's a couple different similarities with chalk paint versus milk paint and both chalk paint and milk paint are called low to no prep paints, meaning that they're designed to work without a primer. You don't even necessarily have to sand your piece first um, before you can go ahead and get started with painting. So that makes it really easy to get a project done in just one afternoon. However, depending on the type of surface that you're working with, you may need to sand with chalk paint or with milk paint. If your surface is extremely shiny or slick, that might just be the best way to really make sure that paint is adhered. But technically, you can just clean your piece and go ahead and get started with painting for both chalk paint and milk paint. In addition to being a low to no prep paint, chalk paint and milk paint are also both a flat matte finish meaning that there's no shine or sheen to the finish, it's just matte. So chalk paint and milk paint are both easily distressed paints. Unlike a latex paint that would peel when it's been sanded, chalk paint and milk paint distress really well. So you can use a traditional dry sanding technique where you just take like a 220 grit sandpaper and go over the areas that you want to distress, or you can take a wet rag and wipe away paint because they're both water soluble and both techniques give you a more um, authentically aged look to the piece. So another similarity between chalk paint and milk paint is that both chalk paint and milk paint can be sprayed. You can use a spray gun or a paint sprayer to quickly put on coverage in a short amount of time. This is also really great for pieces that have a lot of spindles like maybe chairs or vintage beds where you just there's a lot of nooks and crannies and it's kind of difficult to, to get in there with a brush so spraying is a great option for that and it makes painting a piece of furniture extremely quick and easy so both paints can also be applied with a brush of course you can use a natural bristle brush or a synthetic bristle brush really the differences here are a natural bristle brush a textured finish to the piece where a synthetic bristle brush will lay on the paint very, very smooth. Milk paint and milk paint are both porous paints, which means that they need to be sealed in order to protect any dirt and oils from getting down in the pores of the paint. And sealing your paint also makes it extremely durable. You can wipe the surface and it protects the finish over time. Any sealer that you can use on chalk paint, you can use on milk paint. So some common options are like a paste wax, there's a oil wax, which is similar to a paste, only it's in a oil form. Or you can use a hemp oil, polyacrylic, or a polyurethane will also work as great top coats. And these really prevent the paint from wearing away over time. It protects any dirt and oils from, again, getting down into the pores of the paint. And it creates a wipeable surface to make your piece last for years to come. So chalk paint was actually first developed in the 1990s by an artist named Annie Sloan and she created the first brand of chalk paint, Annie Sloan Chalk Paint. And after she created that paint, it became a huge craze to then start painting furniture and that led to more brands to creating their own chalk paint. And eventually today you can find chalk paint in just about any big box or craft store, which makes it really easy to get your hands on the paint. You don't have to wait for it to ship in or anything. It's very easy and readily available, which is awesome about chalk paint. Okay, so another pro of chalk paint is that it comes ready mixed. No mixing required. You can just go ahead and paint straight from the can, which is great. Makes it super easy and very beginner friendly. In addition to that, it doesn't need any bonding agent, which is unlike milk paint, and I'll talk about that later on in the video. But basically, you can just go ahead and paint right from the can, which makes chalk paint super beginner friendly. Another pro to chalk paint is that it has a very high coverage, meaning that it takes less coats of paint in order to get full coverage with when you're using chalk paint, which is great. It saves a lot of time. You might only need one to two coats of paint before you're ready to finish and seal your piece. So because chalk paint is thicker and needs less coats, it's gonna get more of a textured finish in your final 
project. You can eliminate that a little bit by using a synthetic brush over a natural bristle brush, but you're still gonna have more of a textured finish. It's gonna be a little bit more rougher even when buffed out than a milk paint would be. One of the biggest cons, at least in my opinion, for chalk paint is that you're not gonna get any chipping paint. And that basically means that the piece is gonna have um, a less authentically worn look. So chalk paint can be distressed and you can make it look like it's been painted for several years by just lightly sanding the high areas of the piece. However, if you overdo it, it can tend to look a little unnatural. So if you're really wanting like a sleek, modern finish, chalk paint is a great option for that. And since I'm usually painting vintage pieces, I want my pieces to look like they've naturally been painted over the years and the paint has slowly worn away over time. And that is the reason why I always reach for milk paint over chalk paint because chalk paint just doesn't distress the same way that milk paint would. And in my opinion, it just looks a little less natural than a milk paint when it's distressed. So the first main real difference between milk paint and chalk paint is that milk paint, authentic milk paint, comes in a powdered form. So anytime you see those pre-mixed, already liquid forms of milk paint, like in the craft store, there's a couple brands that market themselves as milk paint, just know that those are not true authentic milk paint and they will not give you the same look that milk paint true milk paint will give you. So milk paint powder is made of a milk casein, which is where it gets its name, milk paint. And it's also made of multiple different colors of pigments. And these pigments, once they're mixed together to create the actual liquid paint, creates a very multi-dimensional look in the final product. And so your finished piece is gonna have a lot of highs and lows due to the different pigments that are in the paint. So once it's time to get to painting, you just need to mix up a one-to-one -one ratio of the milk paint powder with warm water. So for example, if you need to mix a one cup of powdered paint, you would mix that with one cup of warm water to create your paint. The exact ratio between water and pigments don't really matter. It's more of a rule of thumb and will really depend on your environmental conditions that are in your area. So if you find you need to add a little bit more powder or water, that's totally fine. Just know that that won't affect your, your final product. You don't want the paint to be too liquidy where it's dripping a lot and you also don't want the paint to be very thick where it drags once you start to paint with your brush. So you're looking for a consistency somewhere in that melted milkshake consistency. Another way to describe that milk paint consistency would be like a slightly watery pancake batter. So another difference between chalk paint and milk paint, again, is that milk paint does not come pre-mixed. And the reason is it doesn't come pre-mixed is because it's, it's not made of the same additives that traditional paints are made from. So you only want to mix milk paint into small batches because after you've mixed your, your paint, after a couple of hours, that paint will start to gel up and basically be unusable. So mix up your milk paint into small batches. That way you avoid wasting any paint. So another difference with milk paint is that it's a very thin consistency, unlike that of chalk paint. It is very thin and that is both a pro and a con. So one of the pros to that is because it's thin, it is very beginner friendly. So you can easily sand out any drips or smudges in your paint and it creates a very buttery, soft, smooth finish once you're completely done and the paint has been buffed out. But the con is that it does take a couple extra coats of paint on milk paint and furniture because milk paint doesn't tend to give as much coverage as a chalk paint would. So even though milk paint has been picking up popularity over the last couple years, milk paint has actually been used for thousands of years to paint other pieces of furniture. In fact, when you pick up a vintage antique piece that has original paint, it's probably a milk paint. One of the biggest advantages to milk paint is its ability to chip. This chippy look gives pieces a more authentically time-worn look which is great for vintage pieces where you want the paint to look like it was already there, it was meant to be, you want them to mesh really well. And so milk paint is great for this. And because it's ability to chip, this is why I love and use milk paint all the time for my vintage pieces. I really love the authentically old world, warm with time look that these pieces get. So only certain surfaces are gonna achieve that chippy look. For example, milk paint is more likely to chip off any non 
porous type of surface. So anything sealed with like a polyurethane or any other type of top coat, those surfaces are more likely to cause milk paint to chip. Whereas raw wood is very porous and that allows the milk paint to sink down into the pores of the wood, being very unlikely chance that we're gonna get any chipping from raw wood. So this makes milk paint extremely durable, especially on raw wood. So keep in mind that milk paint is very unpredictable. You never know if it's gonna chip a lot, maybe a little or none at all. Even if you've painted hundreds of pieces in milk paint before, you can never really be sure if it's gonna chip. So that just all adds the fun and the charm of milk paint in my opinion. So if you're really not wanting a chippy finish or your piece is extremely shiny, where you can see your reflection, you might want to consider adding a bonding agent to your first coat of milk paint. You only need to add the bonding agent to the first coat of paint and that will ensure the paint adheres extremely well to the surface and it sort of acts as a primer built into the paint. So which paint should you use for your next project? Well, that really depends on the final look that you're trying to achieve. Both milk paint and chalk paint are great furniture paints. Chalk paint is a really good option if you're painting a piece of furniture and you really want that sleek, modern finish. But if you're painting a vintage or antique piece, I hope that this channel inspires you to try out milk paint because even though it's very different, as long as you know the basics of milk paint, it's very beginner friendly and very easy to achieve some beautiful results. So here on my channel, I really like to use milk paint because I'm always painting vintage or antique pieces and I find that milk paint really gives a rich multi-dimensional color, is extremely durable, especially on raw wood, and most importantly, it gives me that chippy look that I'm always looking for, which creates a really authentic, time-worn look to my vintage pieces. Lastly, I really love milk paint because of its ability to get a really buttery smooth finish when it's buffed. So if your next project is a vintage or antique piece, I really hope that this video encourages you to give milk paint a try. Check out this video here in the cards or the link is in the description for my video on a complete beginner's guide to how to use milk paint on furniture. And be sure to subscribe for more vintage furniture makeovers here on my channel. I love to share a new video every week, all things vintage. So lastly, be sure to check the link in the description for the blog post that corresponds with today's video. This blog post has everything we talked about today and even more details as well as a Venn diagram with the similarities and differences for both milk paint and chalk paint. So hopefully this video helps you decide which paint to use for your next project. See you later.